and welcome to Miss Chu's News from Singapore. Today I am Little Miss Egg Extraordinary, and this is my adorable pet egg, Egglet. Say hello. Eglet and I are entering a science competition together and we're going to show you our little routine right now. I love Eglet, but he is really super lazy. When I ask him to stand up, he just can't be bothered. Look at him, he just wants to lie down. you a little secret. You can actually make pet eggs stand up if you want them to. You just have to give them a spin. And there you go. He's standing up. Well done, Eglet. So the question is, why does he stand up when he spins? Any idea? Well, we all know that to get Egglet from lying down to standing up, some kind of force must have acted upon him. But what force? Surprisingly, that force is friction. Let me explain why that is. I'm going to show you a normal spinning top. Now, as you can see, it has a very pointy end to minimize the friction between the top and this surface. Its wide body and low center of mass makes this top easy to spin. But when I spin egglet, obviously he doesn't have a pointy end to spin on, so there is a lot more of his shell in contact with the plate and therefore a lot more friction acting on his shell. When I spin egglet, the friction generated exerts a rotational force called torque on the egg, which causes his axis of rotation to keep changing until the egg rises to standing. Now, this all happens really quickly. Watch. So you can see Egglet sliding across the plate whilst he rotates. And the friction is acting against his shell to change his spin axis until he is upright. This trick also works with hard boiled eggs, empty plastic eggs, and for the best results, precision engineered steel eggs, like this one. Now that I've shown you the rising egg, what do you think will happen if I spin this cool toy? Do you know what this is? This is a very special kind of spinning top called the tippy top. I'm going to give it a spin and show you what happens. Again, friction is acting on its curved bottom and changing its axis of rotation until it has turned completely upside down and is spinning on its stem. Looks like magic, right? But now we know how it works. Don't we, Eglin? Hope you've learned something new and thanks for watching. And see you next time. <laughs>